presentation of the NBA. Welcome to the NBA Rising Stars Challenge, a game that has become such a special part of all-star festivities. And that's really because it, it always provides us with such an entertaining look at the next generation of, of NBA stars. In a game like this where the pressure's off and it's all about having fun, I think we really get an opportunity to see just how skilled these young players are. Exactly. I mean, nobody's going to get on top of you if you go behind your back or you try something out of the ordinary. And that means we get to see these young guys pull off some amazing plays in this game every year. And now the opening lineup for Team World. There's the drive. Giddy, no good. Well, Greg, we just saw it. MP's going to be making a trip to the All-Star Weekend as he's playing in the Rising Stars Challenge. And what an opportunity for him to show the world what he's got. Playing alongside the premier young talent of the NBA. And it's just something about the Rising Stars Challenge. It gives each of these young players... Substitution on with some changes. Dudley's checked court. in, At and it's Bird in for Green. Road. You brought up the big stage, One these young guys around tonight. For so many of the fans, Greg, who are still, uh, you know, just getting familiar with these players, it really is a great welcome to the NBA moment. It, it really is a showcase. And, and for each player, whether they have great moments or not, just being chosen to participate is a huge honor. And, and it says a lot about where they stand amongst their peers. To the paint. Oh, and the jam by Bird. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive pass in the middle. Team World leading by three. Out to the wing. And guys, since this game started back in 94, this has been a perfect warm-up for the All-Star game. I mean, it has all the fun and excitement of the big game with the added element of introducing some of the great young stars to the league's fame. And Jay gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Heads up action there. Reading the play and then beating him to the spot. Well done. Catching up on the changes for USA. Jamison's checked in, and Smith's subbed in for Saunders. A baseline J. That shot is off. So USA will take it the other way. This really has become one of the signature events of All-Star Week. I know you love it, Greg. It gets everyone into the mood for all the festivities that are soon to come. Yeah, it, it does. I mean, it, it's such a great way for these young players to show off some of the fancy moves that they wouldn't even dare to attempt in a regular season game. Five to shoot. Here's Saramago. Oh, that's blocked. And guys, I tell you what. They are getting after it on both ends here tonight. This game isn't all about offense this year. Yeah, it's really been a competitive contest. It's not just a show. These teams are getting after it. It's good on the putback. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Pretty clear they're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. Two minutes remaining in the first two minutes. 157 left in the first quarter. And we've got a collection of the greatest players in the world here. I mean, and playing in an event where they can really let it all hang out. And that's exactly why we always come away with such great memories. I mean, because they really do try to give the fans as many highlights as possible. And they are the best players in the world. Up for Team World, Josh Primo. Team World on D. And it's Bird with the jam. Straight rim rocker. It looked like a great for a second, like he might rip the cylinder loose. Now that is some real industrial size strength right there. Driving the lane. Primo, the pass to Shengu. Down low. Can they get it? And yes, it's good. And Team World leads by one. And for a guy who hasn't been able to get a ton of minutes this season, great that he's had a chance to show off his skill set here tonight. And he does have some skills to show off. I mean, his opportunity for more playing time is going to come soon enough. He just has to stay patient. And USA going to change here. Pools checked in. Oh, and the champ by Bird. Now flying high 
and throwing it down with the one hand. One of his favorite moves right there, guys. Does it as well as anybody, fellas. Tremendous skill while in the air. Here's Torche. A three-pointer, no good. Tell you what, the defense was lucky there. I mean, leave him that open from range, he'll typically knock it down. You've got to love his aggressiveness to finish inside. Well, his leaping ability gives him a great advantage. Fellas, that's exactly why they look to get him the ball around the rim. I mean, it's either a dunk or free throws every time. It's hauled in by USA. They hold the early advantage on the glass. Yeah, nothing major, not a huge advantage, but certainly a good sign for them going forward. And no player in the league has done more to earn his spot in this game than he has. I mean, he's having a terrific season. He sure is. Excellent on a consistent basis for him. I mean, he's been their rock all year. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Team World needs to get off a shot. Here's Wagner. No good off the back of the rim. Boy, you've really got to put those away, especially against soft interior defense. And we reach the end of the first quarter. USA ahead. They're up by five. And the second quarter will be on the way when we come back. And we're glad to have you along as we resume the action at the Rising Stars Challenge. Some great careers in store for these young men. And what a showcase this game has been for the league's best and brightest young stars. And you know, one of my favorite things is seeing the camaraderie between the players. I mean, both of these teams really enjoy playing together and against each other. They've got Bird. He's out there with Neely. And it's Poole in at the power forward. Yeah, a little light on the fouls in terms of what's been called tonight. And that's usually the theme in this game. I agree. I mean, the guys always play reasonably hard, but they don't necessarily play physically, if that makes any sense. The officials' jobs are usually pretty easy in this one. And for Team World, they've got Wagner, and it's Duarte in at the point guard position. And for USA, we've got Neely. He's out there with Bird. And it's Smith in at small forward. Basket counts. Bird's got the lead up to nine now for USA. And let's get your guys' take now on the hustle stats for USA. Great hustle defensively through the first half, contesting everything and racking up the block shots. The other thing they've had going for them tonight is working hard on the offensive glass. They've had a number of putbacks. Inside, and it's Bird with the jam. And he can do a lot more damage to the Both rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Well, I think he did plenty of damage nonetheless. I mean, it was only with one hand, but he still threw that down pretty hard. And Team World calls time here. Without question, Jay displaying his skills today. And he's in a complete groove right now. I don't think they can stop him altogether, but, but they at least need to make him work a little harder than he has been. Here's Primo, guarded by Green. To the inside. That's tipped. And now it's Green running. He can go all the way. Lays it in off the breakaway. Green's got his third bucket of the night. And some players in the Rising Stars Challenge aren't especially well known yet. But this young man is someone we've already become very familiar with. It has not taken him long to really establish himself in the league. I mean, he's been logging a ton of minutes. And there's the pass to Giddy. Here's Jukic. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Now USA with it. Good momentum. Eight straight points. Up top, Bird. 14 points for him. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Almost no holes in their performance tonight. They've been tremendous. Pass to Primo. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. Here's Guzman. 
Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. And he has come on really strong this season. Some of his performances in the first half have been terrific. Yeah, and it wasn't something that very many people saw coming, Greg, but he's proven himself in a big way. I think there are great things ahead for this guy. Here's Bird. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Bird's got 10 points now just in this quarter. And this offense is in a perfect rhythm, and you can see how they're finishing their plays. Boy, this is borderline ridiculous. I mean, every single attempt finding the bottom of the bucket. It does not get much easier than that, but somehow he came up empty there. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. Pass to Primo. And that one's good. His second basket of four, shooting 50%. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. Now here's Burr. Not a lot of room. Rebound by Team World. Here's Kaminga. He has six. Here's Jukic. And it's blocked. And it's out of bounds. Team World will retain possession. So it's both teams making substitutions here on the court. Ball movement here by Team World. Now here's Kaminga. Clock at four. Here's Saramago. Misses the three. Solid rebound there. And with a score like it is, that's an area where they can't afford to get lazy. Yeah, another column in the stat sheet that hasn't gone in their favor. To climb back, they've got to put forth more effort. Bird's shot is good. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. Saramago, headed by Green. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Boy, picture perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. And Bird, here we go. Lays it up off the glass. Bird's got 22 points. And the lead should be safe if they can keep shooting the basketball like this. Yeah, they're cracking. Absolutely cracking and looking to pad that lead. Passes it to Giddy. Here's Jukic. Knocks down the 10-footer. He's got five. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Third left side. Shooting team foul ball. as the whistle blows. First He'll shoot two free throws. First team foul. And you don't ever shooting want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, that's the message the they were court. sending with that foul. On the court. Nothing easy inside. Well, pro probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that one. Absolutely. Catching up on the changes for USA. Dudley's checked in, and Neely's up in for green. It's good. And I like how he draws the attention on the inside, and then the nice little kick out in rhythm for the jump. Two left, two. Bird outside. Going inside. Ooh. This sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game. Well, there's a swagger out there. You can see it on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. Boy, and I used to love going up and jamming it down like that, guys. And that's life above the rim, courtesy of our AT&T 5G Slam Cam. The pass to Orte. To the middle. Here's Shangun. It's blocked. Here's Neely. 
Out to the right wing. Here's Dudley. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Yeah, the defender all over him. He got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. For USA, they've missed both of their free throws tonight. Pole for two so far. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. And USA making a change here. Jameson's checked in. No good on the second free throw. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. Definitely, that's one of the reasons they're in front right now. Jamison covering. Down low, here's Saramago. It's hauled in by USA. Neely's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Bird. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. USA shooting their fifth attempt at the line in the game. One shot. That's a great job getting to the line here. You know, he didn't have a single attempt in that first quarter because I thought he was tentative. Much more aggressive here in the second. Tipped away. Stolen by Bird. Plays it up and banks it in. Bird's got 29. You know, throughout this quarter, guys, they've had no answer for him defensively. And he's been absolutely relentless. We've got 33 seconds left to play in the first half. Shot clock at six. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. For Team World, they have gone one for two on the night so far from the line. First free throw is good. Both good from the line that time. 24 seconds left in the first half of basketball. The 15 footer. Rebound by Team World. Shingun's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Stolen by Bird. And now USA on the break. Misses in close. Gets it off. And the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him. And it's USA out in front by 17 points at the end of the quarter. And we'll see if they can keep up their tremendous shooting. They've been dialed in so far from the field. We've got more in store for you right after this. Welcome back as we get a glimpse of the future here at the Rising Stars Challenge. And it has been a fantastic game up to this point. It certainly has. I mean, we know these young fellas can play. And they are putting on a show. And on the floor for Steve Kerr as we get into the second half. Team World foul, Josh Giddy. Second personal foul, first team foul. For USA, they've shot two of five from the free throw line. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Thank <laughs> you. 
Bird hits them both. Team World trails by 19. To the right side. Good ball movement here by Team World. Pass to Giddy. Just five on the clock. Oh, and there's the one-handed Giddy. I mean, he's just making the D look foolish. I mean, that was one heck of a move to get himself the space he needed to operate. And how about the slam to finish it off? Not too shabby either. I gotta tell you what, safe to say that was a good looking play from start to finish. He gets it in there. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Yeah, and they're really getting pummeled on points in the paint here. Passes to Guzman. Floats one, and he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Yeah, how about that one, able to maintain control and finish the play? Yeah, we call that playing through the whistle. You know, he didn't give up on it when he heard the whistle. He kept his focus, his concentration, and he found a way to get the shot up and down. Green, he's checked in for USA. Substitution, substitution on the here for Team substitution World. On the court. And a chance Shooting to catch up on USA. some numbers here. Scoring breakdown for One USA. Anytime you get as many points in the paint as they have, you know you've got a good thing going and you just want to keep it going. And, and also, how about the points they've gotten in transition or on the fast break tonight? That's been a huge factor as well. And it's Team World with the ball. Here's Saramago. Good on the triple. He's got 12. And after an abysmal first half from the field, the shot's now starting to fall. Bird outside. Charity swipe shot. Shengun with the rebound. Shengun's got rebound number five here tonight. Pass to Duarte. Stolen by Bird. It's two on one. Here's Smith. And it's good off the back of the rim and in. Smith's got 11. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of them. There's the pass to Wagner. Rebound by Jamison. You know what? He's just stone cold right now. Really not sure if he's their best option offensively as they try to get back in this game. And Bird, here we go. Team World foul. Namias Keita. Second personal foul. For USA, they've had 12 attempts at the line, making eight so far. At the line for two. And the first one at the line is good. Bird hits them both. On offense, here's Team World. Pass to Wagner. To the inside, Shingun. It's hauled in by USA. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of falling. Pass to Green. Inside, here's Smith. He goes up again. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And Team World will come the other way. Here's Saramago. A second chance effort. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a Third chance here for a three-point play. Third team foul. Really strong rebounding on the, the interior. He gets World. the easy putback. Franz First trip Wagner. to the free throw line for him tonight. For one. Well, they're really making a point of keeping the ball moving around. That's the key. The D can't focus on one player. And no matter what anybody tells you, that team ball will foul. always move quicker Second than the defender. Foul. For USA, they made 10 of their 14 USA. tries at the free throw line in the game. Taking two shots. He's off on the first. Oh 
and he sinks the second. Saramago, bird cover up. USA foul. For Team World, they have put up good numbers at the charity strike, converting six of seven. And he makes the first. For Team World, taking two shots. So he gets them both. And it's USA holding a very comfortable 25-point lead as the quarter comes to a close. Their defense has been active and effective. Back right after this. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them and what a beautiful feat. For me, next to the big-time alley-oops and monster throwdowns, passes like that are probably the next best thing when it comes to sweet-looking NBA highlights. And it's time to get back into it at the Rising Stars Challenge. Tonight, none of these young players will ever forget, I'm sure. Oh, to be young and athletic. Just a ton of energy out there on the floor tonight. Yeah, you know, like we see every year, these young guys are super excited to be playing in this game. And that excitement comes out onto the court. Our fourth quarter action underway, presented by Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups. On the court for USA, Bird is out there with Green. And it's Smith. And it's Jameson in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Here's Saramago. From outside, off the mark. USA leading by 23. Bird outside. And it's Bird with the jam. And, and those are the kinds of plays that are just killing them right now. Priority and goal number one has to be tightening up the defense. They can't afford to give him open looks. Pass to Shengun. From past the arc, the shot no good by Duarte. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Bird dishes to Jamison. USA moving the ball around. And it's Bird with the jam. It's basically been all him. I mean, he scored most of the points himself. Saramago, Bird covering. Here's Saramago. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And so he's picked up his final foul, and he will sit for the rest of this game. See, guys, this is where their depth really comes into play. They've got such talent at that position. So USA wins it. What a terrific game. I tell you what, these young players are going to give us years of excitement to come. The future of the NBA is looking very bright with these guys, Kevin. Terrific young players. It sure is. You're right, Greg. And this really was a fun contest to watch, as it always is. We hope you've all enjoyed it as much as we have. Thanks so much for joining us. For Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, I'm Kevin Harlan. We'll see you again next time.